Hello everyone and welcome back to Prestige Reef. I thought I'd do a little bit of a freestyle video today. Uh, it's been a, quite a while since you've seen the farm. I haven't even cleaned it to be honest. Uh, and the tanks are a little bit murky because this is how freestyle it is. I was in the middle of siphoning a load of detritus out of this tank. So that tank's now all like filthy. And then I thought, eh, this seems like the best time to do a video. But the main reason I'm doing a video this week is because I don't want to be seen like that other lazy YouTuber, Reef Dork. I don't know if you've noticed, he's now only putting out one video every two weeks. Outrageous. It's like, I would never do that to you. <laughs> I usually like to wait, you know, sometimes a good month between my videos. But uh, yeah, so I thought the, the reason I thought it would be a good idea to do a video today is because I have actually been away from the farm for four weeks. Uh, there's also a little bit of updated news with regards to the channel, which is exciting, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, and I just thought I'd show you just how much the farm has grown while I was away. The only, uh, the only tray that I've touched since I've been back is the Zoa tray. So that uh, has been tidied up, although I can give you an example of what it was, what it was like. Uh, but everything else has not been touched yet. So you'll see just how much work I have to do. But uh, yes, I suppose uh, probably should, let's, let's get started. Right now the tank by the door is the one we always start with just because it's tradition. Uh, there's not a lot going on with this tank, I'll be honest. This was the tank that had the Xenia growing all the way up the wall, uh, which as you can see, never came back because I was always under the impression that it was very difficult to get rid of Xenia from a tank, but uh, for whatever reason it just didn't come back. Uh, in this tank there's just a few soft corals. I'm gonna do a, uh, like a hard reset of this tank so I can put some trays in and I will probably will end up growing mushrooms in it like properly but uh, as you can see things have just kind of got out of control and even the mushrooms are growing on the uh, the base. Look don't get me wrong it's good that they're growing the problem is if you can't get them off onto plugs you can't sell them so and that applies to lots of things. This is on the website as a pink star polyps but it's actually a um, it's an encrusting gorgonian I believe uh, and yeah, it'd be nice to be able to get some of the, uh, the clove pollock from there as well. But yeah, pretty much this tank is not that interesting. Right, now we've got the boring tank out of the way. I can talk to you about some of the tanks that you might be more interested in. So as you can see, these were little frags before I, uh, before I went away and they went absolutely insane. This tank is the top tray of System 1. It contains mostly uh, digitata and um, there's also a few psilloporas in here. I've got a blue and green one, a bright green one and there's also an acquired taste one which was sort of like a, a kind of like a bluey one uh, as well as some hasuta and uh, it just shares it with a few different types of ontopora. Now as you can see I have got a serious amount of fragging to do uh, in this department. Although what I will say is the people that are buying corals at the moment, for example, if you're buying a, um, a grafted Montipora, uh, the frag next to it, that little, um, what's that, that's a gold brush Montipora, that's a normal size frag, although it's on a big frag plug, and this is what I'm sending people. So, uh, yeah, people are getting some bargains at the moment because if, until I've got time to uh, go around and essentially chip this off, this off the frag tray, which they will, it does come off pretty easily, and then stick it onto these new plugs. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, basically people are getting much, so they're, they're getting very good value for money, let's put it that way. I would say that tray one and tray two of system one are pretty much even with regards to their growth. I have, as, as you can see, I've got quite a lot um, to do. The, I've, there's, I'm, oh, I'm actively trying to get a few different corals now back in stock. So Satosa, for example, hasn't been in stock for a long time. Uh, and interestingly, I have a piece in the other tank and it's sort of tucked down the back behind the Xenia and I forgot about it and it's now massive. So I did a few frags of it the other day. Uh, the Montipora plates are like show pieces. I, that's bigger than a dinner plate. See, I found this quite interesting actually. So we've got two different types of Montipora here. This is a Montipora paloentis, uh, and then this is a just a normal encrusting one. So that's the sunset, and I can't remember the name of the red one. 
but you can see that they've almost got like a no man's land where they've grown into each other. There's like a perfect sort of ridge all the way along where neither of them have quite won this war. Uh, or they are, they are starting to, uh, you can see, to move upwards to see if they can now grow over each other because stinging each other is obviously not working. Right now the flow's off, I can show you the top tray of system two a little better. So you can see the, the euphilia, uh, fro uh, the frog spawns, hammers and the torches are gradually dwindling away. I do need to get more of these. I usually have quite a lot more than that. Uh, but you can see that the growth from some of these, I actually fragged these literally just before I, uh, just before I left. And um, you can see they're already growing onto the rack. I've got some jack-o'-lantern. See, sometimes I have a feeling the jack-o'-lantern might not be in stock at the moment, but I'll put that in stock later because obviously you can see I've got pieces of it. And then these are different types of uh, stylocinellias. Uh, but there's another coral that isn't on the um, isn't on the current on the website. Sometimes it's because they're a pain to ship, and sometimes I've just forgotten that they're in there, and uh, I need I need to take a picture of them and put them up. So uh, that is that. I have a new copper band in the middle, which I'll walk around and show you. The reason I have a new copper band in the middle is because the old copper band decided to do this. Right, so these are the war corals which currently aren't on the website because the predecessor of this cov band, uh, which as you can see is a nice big fat one, uh, is uh, decided to eat eat them. So uh, cov bands are a pain. They're such a pain because you have to introduce them correctly and then once you've gone through that long process, so this one will be in this box for two weeks uh, and it's also currently not eating, although it was eating. So um, it's... Uh, yeah, they're a pain in the ass because you can go through all that process and all that hardship uh, and all that work only to find out that it eats coral. And what's the point in having a copper band if it eats corals? Because the whole purpose of having a copper band is that it's a butterfly fish that doesn't eat coral. Uh, otherwise, you would just probably get one of the other uh, butterfly fish because there are some, uh, there's some very nice ones out there. So... Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, there isn't a huge amount to show you with this tank. The blastos grow like crazy. These were all single heads at one point, and uh, they are not single heads anymore. I love this one. I've never seen another one that's like that one. And I also love this one. A lot of people try and buy this one because it's gold, but uh, that again, that was down to a single head, and then I've managed to uh, grow it up to uh, a few more. But, uh, but yeah, so... That's that. Uh, I did have an enemy that escaped. So for some reason, it went, the enemy was, it started in this box and then luckily ended up right in the middle here. So it didn't do too much damage. This was a frag, which I just threw in here ages ago. You can actually see right there where the original frag was. And then I've kind of just left it and uh, it's done that. The galaxias are amazing. These grow so fast. I love this one. This is like a bicolor one. I don't think this one is on the website. Uh, but again, that, it, it does need to be. There's no reason not to, to put it on there. But I just need to get around to doing it. But this one is on there, and that, that's one of the most popular sellers. And speaking of popular sellers, uh, these are the Bernardopora, which are uh, probably the most, what, some of the most uh, popular pieces that I sell at the moment. Uh, a lot of people are showing some love for this Alveopora, the pink one. And this Goni over here has had a lot of love. This would be my favorite piece. People often say to me, what's your favorite piece of coral in here at the moment? Uh, and it is without a doubt this one. So I also have a little soft spot for uh, the uh, John Deere Leptastra. And for some reason, this Yuma. I like it because it's red and I've never seen a red one before. This one's obviously a lot more brightly colored but I am a man that likes unusual things, which is why I'm friends with Reef Dog. Right, now the final tray to show you is the Zoa tray, uh, because the other tanks haven't got a huge amount of uh, exciting corals in them, but this was pretty much what the whole tray looked like. It was just covered, literally, I, I've even removed a lot of the ones from here. They was completely covered in, in Zoas, and I have brought a certain level of order back to uh back to them recently I, I fragged these probably a couple of days after i so they were fragged about two weeks ago but uh, and i also got some new colonies which i need to frag i got these just before i went away and um but i haven't got round to uh to doing it again yet i asked the question the other day 
what uh, what do people want me to do more of? And a lot of people said they want more soft corals, mushrooms, zoas. So um, your wish is my command. I love these two electus, uh, the the electus jawbreakers. Uh, the one here. This is actually a baby of this one. This one's given me three babies so far. So, um, but the mum is a, is, a, is one of the nicest mushrooms I've ever owned. So, um, so yeah, that is pretty much an update on the um, on the, the the farm at the moment. Right now, at the start of the video, I said that I had some very exciting news, and that is because I have a new tank coming. This is going to be one of the biggest tanks I've ever had. It's not going to be the biggest, but it will be the second largest, definitely. Uh, it is six feet uh, wide by two and a half, no, six feet long by two and a half feet wide. Uh, and it is for the new project which I'm starting, which is the Angelfish Reef Tank. So I have spoken about this for months. Months and months and months I've spoken about this. I'm going to get a large coral munching angelfish, put into a reef tank, I put it into a tank and then probably gradually feed it the profit from my corals. But we shall see. M my theory is that it will eat some things but it won't eat all of them. And I am in a very luxurious position uh, or privileged posi position so that I have... So if anyone else wanted to try this you would have to go and buy a coral and then put it in the tank not knowing if the angelfish will eat it. If for example I wanted to add one of these Stylus Sinellias I can get, take it out, I've got, as you can see, about 30 of them. I can put it in the tank. If it takes a bite, I can take it and put it back in here. And I can try something different. So I don't want to waste this opportunity. It's something I've always wanted to do. And um, I think that it will be a very fun project to watch. Right, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Uh, please feel free to comment below if you have any questions. If you did enjoy it, why not click that like and subscribe button. There has never been a better time to subscribe because you will gradually be able to watch as a large angelfish slowly but surely crushes my spirit. Have a good week and I'll see you next time.